Welcome back. Now, Ghana's economy grew more than forecast in the last quarter of 2022, even as the nation dealt with inflation well above 40% and a debt payment moratorium and rising interest rates. Gross domestic product expanded, thus grew by 3.7% from a year earlier in the three months through December, compared with upwardly revised growth of 3.1% in the previous quarter. Mike Kroeniger, senior country risk analyst, Fitch Solutions, joins me to give more insights. Good afternoon, Mike. It's good to have you on the program. Hey, Will. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. So, Mike, uh, Ghana's Q4 2022 GDP growth beat expectations. What do you think contributed to this, despite weakening business sentiment and high inflation in the country? Yeah, absolutely. So, as you mentioned, the Ghanaian economy um, expanded by 3.7% year on year in the final quarter of 2022, up from 3.1% in the third quarter of last year. Uh, the uptick in growth took most economists, including myself, by surprise given that um, inflation absolutely skyrocketed to uh, over 50% in Q4, uh, which contributed to a significant worsening in private sector sentiment in the country. Uh, so if we look at some key indicators that are published uh, by the Bank of Ghana, uh, the, 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 the central bank, uh, such as their consumer and business confidence uh, indices, uh, they all dropped to multi-year lows in Q4 which made that acceleration in Q4 uh, so remarkable. So looking um, at the growth figure uh, itself in a little bit more detail, um, I think it becomes clear that the mining sector uh, really did the heavy lifting uh, in Q4. Growth in the mining industry uh, remained in double digits, growing above 10%, which we believe is uh, partially driven by the start of commercial gold production uh, at Ghana's Bibiani Gold Mine, uh, which started in November. We also saw uh, really resilient growth in some other sectors of the economy, including the information and communication sector, the ICT sector, as well as the financial services uh, industry. I do want to stress here, though, that while economic growth in Q4 accelerated, the outturn of 3.7% does remain uh, below Ghana's historic uh, growth trajectory. So in the five years uh, leading up to the COVID-19 pandemic, economic growth averaged roughly 5.5%, indicating that the 3.7% reported in Q4 is not necessarily a great outturn for Ghana. And I think this is reflected by some really weak performances um, in some of Ghana's key industries, uh, such as construction and the real estate sector, both. Uh, recording significant uh, contractions in the final quarter of 2022. Hmm. We would say that that's a better outcome. As you mentioned, the country is going through a lot. But right now, the country, as Ghana, is still working to restructure most of its public liabilities, which is estimated at about 576 billion cities. That's $49 billion at the end of November. It plans to cut its debt from an estimated 105% of GDP in 2022 to 55% by 2028. What is the reality of this, of Ghana achieving this target by that time? Yeah, I, th I think that's a really important question. And you're absolutely right. Ghana aims to restructure uh, its debt, and it's doing so in two different ways, right? So on the one hand, we have its domestic debt swap, and on the other, we have its um, external debt restructuring program. Now, the Ministry of Finance already achieved some success regarding its domestic debt swap, uh, which closed in February uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the authorities announced that over 85 percent uh, uh, or over 80 percent of eligible uh, domestic bondholders have signed up uh, to the domestic debt exchange program, which equates to roughly 83 billion uh, CD. Now, I think the bigger challenge for the Ghanaian government really lies in the external debt restructuring uh, program. The Ministry of Finance announced that it's seeking to restructure Ghana's uh, external debt under the G20 Common Framework, a process that has proven to be extremely lengthy for other countries, right, including Zambia, which two years after it started official debt uh, negotiations still hasn't been able to uh, restructure its debt. So the first step for Ghana now um, is to set up an official creditor committee, uh, something uh, that uh, Paris Club members uh, have already said they're on board with. However, negotiations with China, uh, which is Ghana's largest bilateral creditor, are still ongoing. Um, so overall, 
this process is far from over and is really going to take a significant amount of effort and time on behalf of the Ghanaian government uh, to achieve this. So with all that said, do you see a continued economic growth or slowdown given the country's prevailing concerns? Yeah, I think that unfortunately in the short term, uh, economic growth uh, will weaken. So at BMI, uh, we project that uh, real GDP growth in Ghana will soften to 2.9% in 2023 uh, from the 3.1% recorded in 2022. Again, this is well below Ghana's pre-pandemic growth trends of roughly 5.5%, indicating that the economy uh, will continue to face significant headwinds in the short term. One of those headwinds is unsurprisingly uh, still really high levels of inflation. So while consumer price growth has been moderating since January on the back of a more stable exchange rate, it does remain extremely elevated at roughly 45% at the moment. Um, so high inflation will continue to erode purchasing power of households, uh, weakening their ability to spend on goods and services, which will weaken uh, overall economic growth in 2023. Consumers in Ghana uh, will also face headwinds from um, higher taxes that have been introduced to put the country's uh, public finances on a more sustainable footing, um, which will further dampen uh, their ability uh, to spend. And I think the outlook for investment or fixed investment in the country isn't really much brighter at the moment. So um, Ghana's central bank has embarked upon a really um, aggressive monetary tightening cycle, having hiked by uh, 1,500 base points uh, since late 2021, um, which will really weaken credit uptake, right? Uh, and we have already seen that real credit growth uh, dipped into negative territory in December, which obviously, you know, does not bode well uh, for uh domestic demand in 2023. Thanks. In addition to that, the country's uh, debt exchange program uh, will weigh on balance sheets of domestic banks, limiting their ability to provide loans to both the private and the public sector. On a slightly uh, more positive note here, um, expected production increases in Ghana's most important commodities, um, so that is gold, cocoa, and oil, uh, will likely improve trade dynamics somewhat in 2023, and that will provide some relief uh, to the economy this year. Although I do want to stress that this won't be enough to offset or really counterbalance um, a weakening uh, in domestic demand. So overall, our view is that Ghana is not out of the woods just yet and mm. that its economy will continue to, uh, to face significant challenges um, over the coming quarters. Mm. Thanks so much, Mike Kroeninger, uh, Kroeninger Senior uh, Country Rigs Analyst Fixed Solutions for sharing those insights with us. Thank you very much.